Hello everyone, Jose Rodriguez here. Here is, is the question that seems to prevail over and over and over again. People want to get into home printing and basically what the reason for this is this, and it's a good reason. They're fed up with labs, okay? They are really truly fed up with labs, the wait time, the mailing back and forth, the misunderstanding about profiles that they might need, color spaces that might need you to send your image uh, tagged with and so on. So people want to have that instant gratification. So they look at a printer like the Pro 100, you can get super cheap here in the United States or something higher end and then they get it at home. So they, they're gonna spend possibly, say for instance, for a Pro 100 retail, I think it's a thousand bucks, maybe more. Um, Pro 1 from Canon, that's $1,200 uh, or less. No, I think it's a thousand dollars. The Pro 1000 is indeed about $1,195, $1,295, depending what you buy it from. And so that's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. And you're provided with OEM inks, which give you the best results ever. So now you're going to go ahead and put this Cadillac of a printer on your desk. And then you're going to think of ways to not use it as often as you possibly can because of the ink costs. Well... Again, I'm going to be really, really rough here. Maybe you should not get into photo printing at home. It is not a cheap hobby. If you maintain the idea that you want top quality, that will require you to use OEM. 95% quality? Yeah, a lot of really good third-party inks will provide you with that level of quality. Will you be able to tell the difference? More than likely not. More than likely not. Because you will never have that comparison next to you once you switch over that's it oem is forgotten and now you're dealing with third party and unless i show you a back-to-back -back comparison between two prints one done with oem and one done with even profile third party inks you will see a slight difference maybe maybe not it depends on your eyes and how good the person printing is all right so that makes me think that okay now you're concerned with the problems of clogging and clogging occurs a lot with PSO head type printers like Epson's because they really don't run these preemptive type cleaning cycles like the Canons tend to do. So the Canon has the reputation of being the clog free printer. Well, hell yes, because it's running cleaning cycles every time you turn around. You miss a couple of days, 60 hours, and you'll run a cleaning cycle. And that ensures you that your head is gonna be maintained, primed with ink. And that's, that's, that's the most important thing, the head being primed with ink. A lot of clogs are not really clogs. They're just air pockets inside your little individual components that lead to each one of those nozzles. And what cannons do is that they actually want to keep those little compartments primed. And so that's why they'll run a preemptive cleaning cycle every 60 hours and again and every 120 every 240 and so on and uh, they they can get quite big and a lot of ink is wasted but your print head is kept flowing and so it gives you the impression that cannons are clog free and don't get me wrong I adore my cannons I adore both my Epsons and cannons they're a little bit peculiar in the way that they treat this Epson's will not run preemptive cycles, except for some distinct models. I think my old R2400 used to run one. The R2000 tends to do that, but it's gotta be weeks before it'll even do that for you. So weeks is just too long, okay? Whereas the Canons is on top of things. You wait two and a half days, it will run a clean cycle, period. On an Epson, I can go two and a half days on my PA100, a week, two weeks, and nothing happens. Well, that means that it could possibly clog, okay? Now think about this. Imagine you have an Epson, and after every two and a half days of non-printing, you preemptively run a cleaning cycle. You would never do that. Of course not. The Canons will do that, and that's why they stay so clean and clog-free. And again, I'm not criticizing either printer. 
I'm just stating the fact that it's not because the Canon is just better designed. Yes, the heads are totally different and they have different, different operational characteristics. But the reason that they stay clean is because they are kept primed and you don't use them for, like I said, 60 hours, they will be reprimed. Not a lot of ink is wasted, but still is some ink being wasted that could better be used to create beautiful prints. And so that is it. Please folks, don't get into printing, okay? Stay away from home printing if you're not willing to commit to the cost of home printing and maintaining a printer. It's like having a finicky, expensive automobile. You gotta constantly tune it, you gotta constantly, you know, pamper it and you better start it every day you know no not that bad but you get what I mean you know you simply cannot let it sit there for a month two months three months because you travel a lot well if you travel a lot don't get a printer okay <sighs> I know that's rough but that's the fact if you travel a lot don't get a puppy you're gonna have to send it to the kennel and the kennel costs money well the printer will cost money. I can come up with a thousand analogies of why you should not get a home photo printer. But again, if you want to go ahead and take that plunge, then you better be ready for commitment to that printer. And it takes printing. That's all you have to do with the, I think the Pro 1 is wonderful. You just print, 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 print every day if you want to. And no preemptive cycles take place anything, even a postage stamp size print. And so what I normally do, what I've been doing is I've been using Q image to just run every, uh, I think it's every 48 hours I'll run a print or every 50 hours I'll run a print. And it's just a silly little um, nozzle, not the nozzle check, but the nozzle, clog nozzle function that they have. So it runs that, I flip the paper over and I run the next one to the other side of the paper. So I save paper and it's running a very, very tiny amount of ink. Nothing like a cleaning cycle would use up. So that allows you to actually remain clog free and also without wasting a lot of ink. But what I try to do is I just go through my images. I'm an experimenter, so I need to print all the time. I'm checking things, I'm doing this, I'm doing that, trying this paper, that profile. And so I'm constantly printing and maintaining these printers so they are healthy. The more you print on a printer, the healthier it remains. So in cleaning cycles are not really good for the printhead, okay? So they actually are not a healthy thing to do. And a lot of people like Inkjet Cars, Ross Hardy is very, very good at working with the mechanical side of printers. And he will tell you that is just not really a healthy thing to do. In fact, if you're missing a couple of nozzles, just run a perch sheet. And I know a perch sheet will not run pure colors, but at least you're exercising. If you need magenta cleared up a little bit, you can run a magenta patch and that will maybe exercise magenta and yellow, but mostly it'll be magenta. So at least you're actually printing through the printer and not sucking, forcing ink through the printhead, which is what cleaning cycles do. So that is it. Please, when you finally commit and you finally find that deal for the printer of your dreams, use it, use it. And stay here tuned to this channel because here's where you will find all the other alternative types of ink and cartridge options, okay? You will not find these at the dealer's uh, websites and you will not find these on YouTube. Really, uh, a lot of the stuff that you'll see is there's a lot to be desired as far as information. This is where you will find all of the information and I will research it for you guys and I will actually use my equipment as guinea pigs to test things out for the sake of this channel and for the sake of you guys so you guys make intelligent decisions and buy what you really truly need and then once you get it, how to use it to the best advantage money-wise and quality-wise. Okay, that is it. Hope this didn't come across too harshly, but that is the truth. Printers need to be used. Just remember that. Okay, thank you so much. And please subscribe and please share and please like as always. 
Happy printing, everyone. Bye-bye.